So hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the conference. Together we can. And uh, I'm looking forward to the panel discussion that we're going to have today. Thanks for making it. And uh, uh, to begin with, I just like to have you guys introduce yourselves. Uh, tell me what you do and uh, what is it you love doing. So however you want to go, Ashi, would you like to go first? Yeah. Hi everyone, my name is Ashi Dushi. I am actually studying in school at the moment. I love taking photo uh, photos and I love photography. So um, I take photos of everything and anything. So like ranging from nature to portraits of people. I love it. Oh, lovely, wonderful. And Nupur, can you tell us about yourself? Yes. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Nupur Chaudhary and I'm currently studying. So I'm doing graduation in psychology from KC College. And uh, um, apart from that, I I do have a small business, online small business. And uh, and yeah, and I my yeah. hobbies are dance and I like to read sometimes, sometimes. Yeah. Wonderful. Great. And Jehan, tell us about yourself. So um, I'm the old man here. Uh, I am doing my master's in psychology and I'm also a personal trainer and I love sports. I've been playing badminton for as long as I can remember. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this uh, discussion with everybody here. Thank you. Welcome. And when you say old man, uh, you're all of 25 and uh, you are all just, I think, approximately five years apart. So I think it's going to be yeah. wonderful for us to uh, gain perspectives from you because you're 25 and Nupur is 20 and uh, she's a teenager. She's 16. So I think also because of the age band being about five years apart, I, I'm looking forward to different perspectives. And um, so the topic for today is uh, resilience. Uh, you know that. And uh, I think I'd like to just start with uh, each of you just telling me uh, what does resilience mean to you? I mean, you know, uh, resilience is, is, is a skill, you know, it's not a trait. And um, it means different things to different people. So I'd like to know from each of you, what is what does resilience mean to you? So any of you can go. So if I may, um, resilience. Um, so one can cultivate the skill of resilience, but it, according to me, it shows up when faced with some sort of setback. And you can be resilient to come back from it. Um, however, you can. Um, there are many ways of coming back from a uh, setback. And so that's how I would portray or that's how I would think of resilience to be defined in my way. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely bang on. Um, I actually think that um, resilience is when you go through something tough, but you come out stronger and like you persist and fight through your struggles and you I mean it, at the end of it you have come out stronger as a person. absolutely absolutely great Nupur uh, for me I think resilience means uh, it's just your, your willpower and your passion to uh, to you know face a certain uh, challenge or something and I think Kashi is correct that may, it does make you stronger because you do learn from it and uh, also, you know, I've heard this misconception sometimes that oh, resilience means only standing up for yourself. But sometimes it's like we uh, we can't stand up, but we have to face that challenge. So maybe, you know, that power or that, uh, that uh, passion yeah, or something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's true. I mean, uh, different people have different uh, interpretations and, you know, get different meanings out of it. Uh, so, yeah, I think um, bang on everyone. Uh, I think, yeah, even for me, I feel resilience is basically, you know, it is, uh, I accept that life is full of ups and downs and, you know, we are going to have our moments and uh, we have to bounce back and each day is a new day. So, uh, yeah, so to begin with that. Uh, so I'd like to ask you all, uh, 
have any of you, any of you, I mean, this is a question open to any of you, have any of you witnessed resilience um, in your community or in your home and, you know, kind of learned something by just witnessing people around you exhibiting resilience? You know, anybody who's had that, you know, um, attitude of, say, of bouncing back from adversity. So have any of you met or know somebody? So, um, if I may, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so I actually run the teenage support group with both Jehan and Nikhil. Um, and each session, we are interacting with teenagers from like different backgrounds who have like they and they each describe their own struggles at home or like how with their hearing loss. And I think and what they've overcome. And I think this actually gives me a lot of motivation to work harder and strive for the best. Superb. And these are from I your have. peers. It means these are from your peers, right? People of your age. Yeah. Okay, fab. Yeah. And, and Jehan, what were you saying? Uh, I have no other example than uh, one Ashri gave. I think that's the perfect example to give uh, of resilience in people that we interact with um and so yeah i yeah, have that's... no other example apart from that yeah so tell me when you all are interacting with this group of people and uh you are witnessing them you know exhibiting resilience uh, can you give me uh, an example of somebody or uh, like a, you know anything brief or something that has also inspired you you know when you've talked to anybody does any individual kind of stand out you know what did anybody do that kind of really stood out you know where you felt that hey this person is uh, you know, very resilient no poor you want to say anything please yeah so uh, i think uh, being resilient i think we all have faced this is our mothers actually because if they wouldn't take a stand or they wouldn't be resilient for us today we would not be here yeah Absolutely. so uh, Absolutely. I think, I, and uh, so one experience witness, I think my mom is the biggest uh, person who has, who has residence in her, I think from birth, she, <laughs> every moment she can stand and I think I inspire uh, from her a lot. Yeah, from yeah, her. yeah. Yeah, you know, that's right. Because, uh, you know, when we talk about individuals having challenges, you know, and we are looking for resilience in them, that how are they going to bounce back? How are they going to manage their challenges? Uh, but I think that even these individuals who have challenges when they're born, like, you know, in, uh, children with hearing loss, uh, their parents have also had to pull up there and, you know, kind of, pull out their own skills, their own resilience to be able to, you know, bring up the children. So, yeah, that is something that actually goes unnoticed. Uh, so, yeah, that's a great one, Nupur. Um, uh, the other thing I wanted to say that, you know, in the last two years, the last two years of pandemic, it has been extremely challenging. And I think the last two years have uh, brought out resilience in all of us in different ways. So is there anything that you feel like in the last two years that that has kind of stood out for you personally, any incident or it could have even been an one single interaction with somebody where, you know, you have kind of been resilient, any, any of you? Um, so actually be, now that schools have moved online, so um, I would say initially like online school was tough for me. Like, uh, for example, there were problems with Wi-Fi lagging, which made um, showing the teachers look really difficult or following their lip reading cues was looking really difficult. Um, but I guess how, over time, it has become easier and I have been able to weather these challenges um, with the help of say a few extra classes and requesting the teachers to keep their cameras on. Um, these last few years have gone by pretty quickly and they've gone by comfortably. Okay. But you know, sometimes, uh, Ashi, there could have been times when uh, individuals, did, you know, we don't even realize that we are being resilient. You know, you just pick yourself up and you say, okay, okay, I got to do this. I got to do this. And you don't even recognize that actually you have used the skill of resilience. You know, like you said that yeah. 
uh, you know, you requested the teachers to keep their cameras on and but because you tried different methods to keep bouncing back and to keep uh, coping with adverse situations. You know, you came yes. up with you came up with strategies to cope with an adverse situation. And sometimes we don't even realize that we've just done that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, anyone else in the last two years? I mean, it's been too challenging. How how is it? I, act I would actually agree with what you mentioned, Mala, about the not realizing that you're resilient uh, part, because when I look back on my life, and I'm sure many people can relate to that. When we look back on our lives, we can actually see that, oh, I actually, I actually overcame that. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. And because at that moment of that struggle, sometimes you're so overwhelmed or sometimes it's just a matter of fact. Okay, cool. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. I got to do that. And then you just overcome something that you feel was a minor in community, but actually at that point of time, it was like a major, oh, yeah. oops, you know, I need to like deal with this. Yeah. So I completely agree with that, that we don't give enough credit to people for overcoming what they think is minor, because in hindsight, everything is like wonderful. And, you know, but at that moment, it's like, oh, you're, yeah. it can be quite a tough time. Yeah. So I agree Absolutely. with that. Yeah. And, you know, we don't realize when we have difficult situations and when we are coping, we cope, but we don't often stop to think of what skill we applied to be able to cope with that, you know. So it's sometimes nice to acknowledge that and give yourself a pat on the back and all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, but tell me, I mean, life uh, obviously has not been hunky-dory and all three of you would have had your sh fair share of challenges um, yeah. but we are all here today uh, successful uh, so, but I just want to ask you that at any time in your life or at any stage of your life in any phase did you feel that you were losing steam did you feel that you were losing hope uh, did any of you feel a bit disheartened at any stage To be honest, I don't really think so because when I think that I'm say um if I feel like I'm losing steam or like if I am like a disheartened, um I push myself and I remind I remind myself of my end goals and like I said, I mean I'm a born fighter, so I know that I'm going to work through it. Oh, okay, lovely. I love that you're a born fighter, and yeah, but you said that. Uh, Okay, wonderful. Yeah, so you keep picking yourself up. Whenever there is something that disheartens you, you pick yourself up. So that's again yeah. your resilience. That's again your resilience. And you know, because I think that envisioning your goals really pushes you a lot. Like when you kind of created what, what your dream life is or what your goal is at the end of it, your destination, I think that makes it a lot more motivating to work harder and it gives you that extra push. True. And would you share with us what your destination is? I don't really know, but I guess it's just to be happy and to be content. Yeah, That's, I think uh, that, may sound simple. that may sound simple, but I know it's a long journey. Yeah. Yeah. Nupur, what did you say? I'm sorry, I missed that. Yeah, I'm saying that, yeah, I think Ashi is correct that, you know, so even, that's what even I do. So if I feel that, okay, how am I going to manage it? Like if I have assignments, so in my college, they give assignments in a bulk and they expect us to complete all of them in a week. And sometimes I get stressed that, okay, how am I supposed to complete this? But then I like, okay, let's take it patiently one by one. Let's set our goals. Like how much are we going to complete when, and then we will deal with it. Like, so that's what I think every time that, okay, it's a phase, it will go away. You know, maybe something more will come. Something good will come. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you are using your skill set and you're using your personal know-how to be, uh, to face your challenges or any difficult situation. And Jehan, anything you want to share about any any so, moment, I mean, any time you were disheartened? I feel like, yeah, of course. I mean, uh, being disheartened, I feel is like part of human nature and manner of speaking. That you can't have a hunky-dory life. Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah. um, I feel like 
in my own experiences i've had like certain moments where i'm like oh i know how do i pull myself out of this and um i sometimes i don't have the skills and that's okay so therefore i seek help uh, from a professional or like my family uh, to help me out of that situation and um so far it's worked and so yeah just talk about it with someone and you help yourself come out of it because we all need help from people and yeah. i feel like it's okay to sort of reach out and be like hey you know absolutely. can you help me Absolutely. So that's how I sort of work on it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, you know, uh, support is so critical because uh, I think a lot of people who are resilient have spoken about the connections that they have with people that have helped them to, you know, overcome any challenges. It's like, uh, you know, there will be days when we are not feeling up to it you know and you don't you you are unable to bring up that skill or that fighter spirit or something but then talking to somebody or leaning on someone for support you know generally helps you gain perspective and bounce back uh, so yeah I agree uh, so can you tell me more about you said you lean to people for support and i think asking for help is a big one because generally people don't want to ask for help and they feel no i am going to draw on my own skills and my own know how to cope with situations but sometimes you're not equipped you know you you may not always be equipped so it's okay to learn from others and take support um do any of you all want to share anupur or ashi any of you want to share about support that you have received or connections that you have made uh, that have helped you to cope i think my parents have been my biggest support like they've helped me in every single stage right from my diagnosis to um you know get an operator to at working in school they pushed me at every step of the way great three cheers and nupur any support that you feel i know you spoke about your mom earlier i know uh, parents are obviously our first support system but we cannot forget our teachers and our siblings or if anyone we have so yeah. i've got two sisters so they are even they are my support system so after my mom that if i need anything i just go and i go to my sisters and guys help me lovely lovely and i think you all also mentioned that you all are running this uh, mental health peer support group so do you really feel that you all are able to establish connections and you know help each other cope and build resilience with each other in that peer support group because see you all have no connection with these people you all are not in school together with them you all are not in college you all are of different ages so are you all able to build a peer support uh, with this group yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Like we've spoken about a lot of different struggles. I think one common struggle we've had is that now with this whole going back, say for example, going back to school, every everybody is masked up. So I personally rely, and I know a lot of other hearing impaired kids rely on lip reading. So one session we just spoke about like how to overcome those kind of challenges. How do you kind of I guess go with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very critical because the last two years have been a huge challenge for individuals who rely on lip reading. Unfortunately, we're not even able to find the right masks for them. So let's just hope uh, this pandemic is behind us soon. And you know, people have not realized how challenging it is for people with hearing loss. I mean, the world has not realized. Nupur, you put your hand up for something. Yeah, so uh, I want to see that. Like, I would share, would like to share a small review of this sessions we take up. So we've got good reviews. Like, I remember one person saying that she was more open with us rather than her, uh, you know, her friends or someone. So she was feeling very comfortable. She was feeling for her, like her own self because she felt that you know that okay, people are listening to me. that's what one review we got and also there was a, a small issue one person was facing in school so we tried to help out like regarding our experiences based on our experiences we we told them that you you try this way if it would help so i think it's progressing and we are trying we are yeah. getting to help people 
Yeah, that's nice because you know they would also I'm probably turn to you all because they know that you will understand what they are feeling. You know, so it's so much easier to to bounce off ideas and find uh, solutions with within that group because they know that you all will understand each other more than say their other you know part of their community. So that's great. Uh, so if I were to ask you all, uh, uh, what is the uh, oops, sorry. Ha, uh, sorry, I, yeah. So if I were to ask you all, uh, is there any image or any poem or anything that is, you know, not verbal or maybe a poem uh, or an image or uh, anything that comes to your mind, which reminds you of resilience, what would that be? So in my eyes, it would not be an image or a poem or something like that, but it would rather be a person that I think of often exactly. um, because I think the best way to sort of inspire is through stories and what's a better story than someone's real life. So I am a huge fan of sports in gender. And so I follow this sportsman called Rafael Nadal, who's a tennis player. And he's always come back from adversity, always come back from injury. And his never say die attitude is something that I really admire. And I try to imbibe a little bit of it um, in my life and obviously on uh, the badminton court as well. So I feel that that is what comes to my mind when I think of, oh, resilience or, you know, passion or, you know, just coming back from stuff. Absolutely. So that's how I would put it. Wonderful. Yeah. It could be a person, a story, a song, a movie, it could be anything. Yeah. If anyone I wants to I, share. Um, I think when I think of the word resilience, there's a song called, I believe I can fly. Ah, yes, of course. It reminds me of like, you know, you can work hard and ah. push through it. Lovely. You know, my son also uh, relates to that song a lot. <laughs> oh, that's so nice to hear. Nupur, anything? Yeah, I think uh, there's one song called Hall of Fame where um, it, it mentions all the problems and then says that, oh, you can, you can go through this, you can go through this. There's a song. Yeah. So I think that comes into my mind. Yeah, lovely. I think as an, uh, for me, it's an image, you know, of the sunrise, you know. Each day when I see the sunrise, I'm like, yay, new day, bounce back, you know, back to life kind of thing. So, yeah, so I am, uh, we, we are done with our questions for today. And um, thank you so much for the honest sharing. Um, is there anything, uh, you know, before we wind up, is there anything that any of you want to say as a message you want to pass on to the audience? Please feel free before we wind up. I guess I think, never give up, like never give up and just push through it because it's going to get better and um, just have faith in yourself. Yeah, true. Absolutely. That's, that's our warrior speaking, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's also, wonderful. Uh, I know. So I think uh, that we should stand up if we feel that something is right yeah. for ourselves. Yeah. That is true. That is true. That's I guess my message would be to like, I know it's like completely contradictory, but yeah, to kind of be kind to yourself and mm -hmm. it's okay to like feel down about things and all and yeah. it's fine. So to be kind to yourself and not to be too harsh on yourself. You're and a human being after all. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. I, I mean, brilliant great messages all of you uh yeah so a lot for me also to chew on and to take away from here uh so i just want to say thank you so much for being a thank part you. of this discussion for together we can and uh, thank you for making it and hope to see you soon thank you yeah bye